The Triple M Grill Team. <laughs> Turn Gus, MG and Matty on 6 till 9 weekdays. Yeah, the Bailey 9 Masterminds boys hope of a legal review of their executions have been dashed with the Bailey Court yesterday rejecting their appeal, moving them one step closer to the firing squad, which uh, we believe maybe as, as soon as this weekend, um, which is uh, it's divided opinion. Um, but somebody who's been covering this story uh, since uh, day dot is uh, Jane as a party from Channel 9 News, and she's uh, joining us now on the Grill Team. Good morning, Jane. Good morning, guys. The uh, it's it's probably um, their their last ditch um, for 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 clemency has mm-hmm. been rejected. Um, what's the what's the feeling like in Bali at the moment? Oh, look, I think among the friends and family of these two guys, it's it's pretty grim news. Um, they got the news from the court yesterday afternoon, but Andrew Chan and Mayur and Sukumaran will only find out today when uh, that news filters through into Karabakan Jail. And look, I mean, this, this uh, judicial review that they were hoping on was always going to be a long shot, but at least it gave them something to hope for. And, and the news that it was rejected by the court yesterday, as you said, puts them one step closer to the firing squad. The, the uh, internet the Indonesian government has already said that they will be in the next round of prisoners to be executed. So all, all they're waiting for now is a date. Wow. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's a savage way to go. There's no doubt about it, Jane. You, uh, mm. But you, you look and, and you say, why the hell do, do, do people continue to try to traffic drugs into, into Asia? Asia? When you know look, that is quite... Jane, is there, is there much sympathy for, 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 the, for the two guys in, f- from Indonesians? Look, there doesn't really seem to be, I have to be honest. The death penalty is something that has been part of Indonesian law for a while uh, and people look at it that way, that they they knew the law when they broke it. Um, What the lawyers for these men are arguing, though, is they're not trying to get off, basically. They don't want to be free. All they're asking for is their lives and and to spend their lives in jail. And, look, had this crime happened in Australia, they wouldn't face the firing squad. They'd be in jail, but... But it happened here. And, look, you said it's a dreadful way to go, and it is. They'll, they'll get three days' notice, so they'll have three days oh. to stew on what's going to happen. And yeah. I don't know if you saw a story we did uh, earlier this week on Nine News, but it's not easy for them to get to this place where it's going to happen. They'll have to take an hour's flight and then four to six hours on the road to get to a port where they'll then get on a ferry that will take them to this island called Nusa Kambangan, which is basically Indonesia's Alcatraz, They'll sit in that jail for one day, two days, who knows, and then at some point in the middle of the night, they'll be taken out of there, taken up to a mountain, tied to a post. Uh, They'll have a cross put on their heart, and a team of shooters, anywhere from uh, eight shooters to 15, will shoot for their heart. And it's, you know, they've got to stand there that whole time knowing that's going to happen. So Wow. Jane, the you way know, you imagine just... Imagine the, the psychological trauma yeah. of that. Oh, yeah, incredible. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and Jane, the way you just described it, we're all sitting here open, open mouth. But, and mm. Maddie said this many times on our shows, we've talked about this, the rules in terms of the sentencing has not changed since they were caught. They knew exactly no. what was going to happen to them if they got caught. They continued to do it and they were caught. So in that country, that is what you have to pay. We're not in Australia. We're not in America. Mm-hmm. This is where it's happening. So really they're getting exactly what that government and that country has said will happen. And they, they want to stop people trafficking drugs. So this is probably you know, a way of letting all other drug addicts know or drug dealers know you can't do it in this country i'll tell you what what how jane just explained it there like you know with that mm. oh, that's torture i, I mean that, that is, is torture yeah. to, if well, that was commercial like, i don't want to say commercial but if that was known to the greater public yeah i think anyone any young person in australia that was even thinking about doing this yeah. mm, i'll tell you what that's the greatest deterrent because you don't know the exact details of what goes on jane that is it's unbelievable mm. Well, well, look, if you think that sounds torturous, I spoke to a priest uh, in this town um, who has actually witnessed a couple of these executions. And, look, I know it's early in the morning and people are, are eating their breakfast, but the, the executions he uh, witnessed, he said it took them seven or eight minutes to die. And, and this priest was there and he could hear the people, the, the prisoners moaning while that was happening. And, and he said that he sang Amazing Grace. Oh. He said, I'm not, I'm not much of a singer, but I sang Amazing Grace so they would have something to focus on while that was happening. And, and this guy is a, is a, a very big um, anti-death penalty campaigner. But you're right, the, the Indonesian government, uh, this is the, the laws in their country. And the president has made very clear over the last few days that he believes the execution is a deterrent to future drug mm. smugglers. Mm. And he can compares the deaths of these two Australians with what he says are the 18,000 people who die every day of drug overdoses. So, 
That's certainly the Indonesian argument. Yep. Um, Jane, I know you're there as a reporter and you're reporting for Channel 9 News. Um, have, has your stance, have you changed your opinion since being there and being as, as close to the action as you are? Well, look, I have to say, I'm normally sitting in Australian courts and often I find the leniency in Australian courts frustrating where, mm. where you see people yeah. commit awful crimes and, and they do seven or eight years in jail. And, and this is the opposite end of the spectrum. Look, I think we, we were... <laughs> It's very difficult to give an opinion as a journalist because, yeah. as you're right, this, this was the law in the country. They knew the law and they broke it and, and they've been given the punishment. But I personally find it very hard to see how um, the law can be taking somebody's life. I don't think these guys should be let out of jail. I think they should stay in jail. They did an awful thing. But surely that's punishment enough yeah. that in the society we live in. If we want to live in a, a society um, that treats human life with respect... Oh, look, I, yeah, I but then, then, then you yeah, get the yeah, drug, drug traffickers, but, you know, giving drugs to people and 18,000 people dying, so they are respecting the people, true. you know what yeah. I mean? Like, I suppose, it's a uh, tough let, argument. Let, let's face it, there are countries in the world where that, that it's proven do not have the same respect for human life as we do. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's true. Jane, Jane uh, thank you so very much, much for your time this morning, and we'll look forward to your reports on Channel 9 News tonight. Thanks, guys. Good on. The Grill Team, Gus, MG, and Maddie Johns. Triple M Breakfast.